There's a myriad of hearing protectors out there. An obvious way to categorize them is as over-the-ear and in-ear products, or earmuffs and earplugs. In an extreme noise environment, such as an airport or racetrack, you may need both an earmuff and earplugs to be safely protected. There are, of course, different kinds of earmuffs and earplugs too. Beginning with earmuffs, we can divide them into two main categories, passive or electronic. For example, here I have the passive sword in seal and the electronic sword in sharp. Passive hearing protectors come with different attenuation, typically low, medium or high, which are suitable for different noise environments. Sword in classic and left right are examples of product families available with all three attenuation levels. Here you can see the Sourdine left-right family with clear distinction between the cup sizes from low, medium and high. It's important to choose the right attenuation. Too effective attenuation can give you a feeling of isolation and be a danger in itself. In an electronic hearing protector, noise up to 82 decibels is reproduced naturally or even amplified, while louder noise is compressed using digital signal processing. Passive earplugs are simple foam or plastic products that are useful in low noise situations or as a complement to over-the-ear hearing protectors in extreme noise. Sordin offers several in-ear models, including reusable or disposable, corded or non-corded, available in different sizes and functionality. An earplug that protects against impulse noise, such as Sordin Smart Ear Impulse, may look like an ordinary earplug on the outside. But it comes with a very special feature, a noise-reducing filter that is automatically activated at a certain sound pressure and therefore protects against impulse noise, like gunshots. As soon as the impulse noise is over, the filter is deactivated and the plug returns to its normal attenuation.